Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading Scorpio and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Scorpio please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, that flew out. Oh wow, it's you. I mean, you are the death card. It's very good when the overarching energy is your major arcana. Because the major arcana is the powerful energies, the major energies. Um, powerful energy there. Okay. Okay, angels, what is the message for our lovely Scorpios? Thank you. 18th to the 24th of January 2021. Thank you. Message for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Oh, in the near future. Let's see if we can find anything more in the near future. Any more information that we can have with this car, please. Oh, something to do with perfect timing. <laughs> okay. Interesting energy there. Let's pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Scorpio. So just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides. What is the message Scorpio needs to hear the most? And it will be 18th to the 24th of January 2021. What does Scorpio need to hear the most, please? What does Scorpio need to hear the most? Thank you. Two of Cups, your current situation. Queen of Swords, your challenge, card of Libra. Two of Pentacles, advice from Spirit. And the Three of Pentacles is your outcome. So let's get clarifying cards and go deeper into the message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. 18th to the 24th of January, 2021. Clarify these cards on the table, please. Thank you. So we have the Knight of Swords, card of Gemini. It's not limited to a Gemini, obviously. The Death card clarifies the Queen of Swords. The King of Wands clarifies the Two of Pentacles here. And the Ace of Pentacles clarifies the Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers. Again, another card of Gemini. King of Wands is generally Leo for me as a reader. We've got two Death cards now, which is your energy, Scorpio, and the Queen of Wands. But this is the challenge position. So just give me a moment. Scorpio, I... some kind of similar message in I think it was a love reading of yours yeah a recent love reading and I'm kind of getting the, a similar message again 
I mean, there's definitely an energy in terms of love, romance, relationships here. I mean, the Scorpio, your card appearing in your reading is an energy of out with the old, in with the new. It feels that you have an opportunity to... It feels in this energy, take a relationship to the next level. And I had a similar reading in, I think it was your love reading. Um, and this is something that is going to put you in your element. I mean, your death card is an energy of, of great transformation, emerging, uh, rising in your light, you know, ready for the new and ready to shed an old skin. I mean, it feels in this kind of energy, it's very beautiful. Some kind of perfect timing in the near future. Uh, it could be Valentine's Day, who knows. Um, it, it feels in this situation there is some kind of opportunity coming in for you to take a relationship to the next level. Because the Knight of Swords is a card of progress and can be a conversation as well. And we have it in terms of the Two of Cups, love, romance, relationships. Now, it might well be you met somebody new and it might well be in this situation someone is wanting to progress things to the next level here. Maybe there has been progress in a relationship and you're ready to progress to the next level. So it is an energy of transformation. It is an energy of out with the old, in with the new, because there is an energy of progress, progressing to the next level, to the next phase. Uh, you know, it's that kind of energy. Queen of Swords can be a card of... I mean, she's a card of Libra. Um, and with your, en with your energy, I mean, it feels in this situation you have to make some kind of decision. Um, the, the Queen of Swords is somebody who makes balanced decisions, balanced energies. I mean, there's sometimes an energy of boundaries here with the Queen of Swords. I'm not sure I'm ready. You know, it's that kind of energy. But she is Libra in energy. Libra is the house of relationships. So I definitely feel again in this situation... There is the perfect time in the near future to progress some kind of relationship. And it's whether you're ready for it or not. I mean, it's definitely this kind of energy of, am I ready? Is this something that I really want? It feels like you're weighing things up here. Um, yeah, maybe making some clear judgment. You know, and she's a fair energy, you know, some fair judgment, some fair assessment of the situation. So it, it feels that that's your, I don't know if I'm ready for the new. <laughs> and it, it, you know, it, it's kind of the energy that I'm getting, but definitely this kind of offer, opportunity. I mean, it might be going too fast for you. That's the only thing. The Knight of Swords is, is the fastest night of all the, of all the nights. So it might well be in this situation things might be just going too fast for you, in which case it is about having that fair discussion, communication, conversation in terms of how you want to take for take something forward. Now we have the King of Wands here. The King of Wands is a Leo, um, can be fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius as well, can be whatever the energy represents. Um, because... Again, this, this Two of Pentacles is a card of... Prior it can be a card of prioritization. It can be a card of... It can be a card of adapting. It can also be a card of something that is might be throwing you off balance a little bit, you know? Because again, this Queen of Swords is, okay, what... You know, how do I get balance? And it just feels like that they're wanting to get... It feels like this is going very fast. 
because the king of wands is a go-getting energy you know they're driven they're successful their go-getting energy, their fire energy, they know what they want and how to get it. You know, it's that kind of energy with the King of Wands. He's the person who sees what they want and goes for it. You know, they take action. And it might well be for some of you, this is a bit overwhelming. I mean, it's not necessarily out without, you know, this is saying definitely it's within your control to deal with. But it feels like there is some kind of priority decision. How do I want to move forward? I mean, this can be a decision between two areas. You know, do I stay on the current path or do I go to this new phase next level? You know, what am I ready for now? But again, the two of pentacles is a card of time as well. I mean, it's Capricorn energy. So, you know, ruled by Saturn. So there's definitely an energy of, of time here. Uh, is this something that I really want? I mean, it feels like you're wrestling with that. But it feels like you're being rushed. I mean, it feels beautiful. And, and this king is male or female energy as well, as is the queen of swords, you know, is, is that kind of energy. Is... If it's not, if it's not a person here, this can certainly talk about... Um, the vision, you know, uh, he's all about grand visions. So, you know, is this something that I see going forward? You know, it's that kind of energy of just weighing things up, just prioritizing, getting things clear in your own head in terms of how you want to move forward. But it feels also things are being rushed here. I mean, it's beautiful energy. But it might well be going very fast for some of you. And it might well be that there is some, you just need a bit of time to get your head clear in terms of which way you want to go. You know, because this, it feels like whatever is, is being asked of you here means some adaptation in your life. It means some change in your life. And you're just wondering, am I ready for it? And what are they offering? Well, Again, I mean, this could be to do with setting up home together, an offer to move in together, um, can be in terms of next phase committed relationship, um, can be to do with things like proposals, you know, it's that kind of energy. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles can be about moving, relocating. It's a manifesting energy, manifesting the next level of your relationship. And there's definitely an energy of, do I have enough in common with this person? I mean, there's definitely some kind of assessment that you're taking here because this three of pentacles in a relationship reading definitely is the energy of, do we have common goals? Do we have something solid to build on? Is this something that is, is, is worth my commitment and time? Because is this something I really want to invest my time and energy in? Is it of value enough to me? It's that kind of energy, you know, of those are the things that you're asking yourself because it feels that you're being asked, for, you know, to really bring change to your life here. Whatever this opportunity is, to manifest the, next le manifest the next level of relationship, it definitely feels that there is some kind of assessments, practical things that you want to look at. Um, is it going too fast? You know, it's that kind of energy as well. But, you know, nevertheless, these are beautiful energies, Scorpio. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles is manifesting something solid, stable and secure. It is the new. And again, that's that death card, out with the old, in with the new. Um, and it feels next level energy in terms of a relationship because the lovers is, it feels like a more um, solid, committed relationship, um, kindred spirits, like-minded souls. Again, this union brought together by Archangel Raphael. And definitely together you are stronger than apart. I mean, that's what the lovers is, is saying as well. But it can be about a choice in love, a decision in love as well, to do with this opportunity. But I definitely, I definitely feel for some of you that this opportunity is, is beautiful, it's exciting. The cards are saying from what I can see, is this something that you can trust? Is something that you can build on long term for the future? Yes, it is. Um, is something that this can go the distance. Yes, I can see that going the distance here. Um, 
so I guess I mean it's just so definitely in the near future perfect timing something is going to happen someone's either you're wanting to offer this to somebody or somebody is wanting to offer this to you or ask this of you yeah so very beautiful energy here Scorpio I mean it feels very exciting um, and I can definitely say in the cards this is definitely something that can grow into something stable secure for the long term so hopefully that helps you make your mind up <laughs> okay so what do we have as a final message here so we have believe in magic open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature the fairy of the northern light says you are part of nature so you are magical too lovely and we have abundance prepare yourself for incoming abundance release any mental blocks you may have yeah the, the, that's what I'm fe definitely feeling mental blocks I'm feeling boundaries blocks am I ready for this you know it's that kind of judgment or decision that I feel you're wrestling with here um, in fairyland the, and humanland there is enough abundance for everyone and abundance is where you lack for nothing you know it's that kind of energy of feeling fulfilled and content on every level so it, it absolutely feels very beautiful these are abundant energies so lovely lovely reading of Scorpio um, I wish you well and I hope you enjoyed it if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful I say month, I was going to say month, week for you all, could be months, and I will see you next time. Thank you.